Here's something that may surprise you. If your house catches fire, the closest fire station may not be called to help put it out. That's because sometimes fire chiefs of neighboring stations do not get along. And in Pennsylvania, it's up to the local fire chief to decide who backs up his department when they go to a fire. Paul Van Osdal shows us how even the state fire commissioner acknowledges politics and personality can sometimes trump public safety. When this house caught fire on Lobinger Avenue in North Braddock, multiple stations were called to back up the North Braddock Volunteer Fire Department. Trucks came from East McKeesport, 5.7 miles away, Monroeville, 6.5 miles away, and Penn Hills, 6.7 miles away. But one fire department much closer was nowhere to be found. This is Swissvale, just two tenths of a mile from the house that burned. It's right across that bridge and up the hill. The Swissvale Fire Department is just a mile and a half away from that house. But when the house caught fire, Swissvale trucks never left the station. That's because the North Braddock Fire Chief does not want Swissvale helping him out. This despite the fact that Swissvale has a professional fire department. Dispatch records show it has one of the quickest response times in Allegheny County. I asked the North Braddock Fire Chief about why he left Swissvale off his run card. The document he gives Allegheny County 911 saying which departments are backing him up. They're not on the run card for, for, for North Braddock? Right. Why not? Just not on it. Okay. Because they're pretty close, right? They are. Any, any reason why they wouldn't respond to, to fire? Because it's only a couple blocks from Swissvale, right? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Swissvale officials declined to comment, but Action News Investigates has learned North Braddock removed Swissvale from its run card after this. What happened? Tell them about all the harassment that you gave them during the, the whole week of it before it happened. A controversy that broke out when Swissvale fired Deputy Fire Chief Jim Barca, who is also the chief in Homestead. Other volunteer firefighters rallied around Barca. Barca's allies alleged he was fired because Homestead did not allow Swissvale to help fight a massive blaze in Homestead earlier this year. Swissvale's chief said that had nothing to do with it. The state fire commissioner says there is no reason for fire chiefs to block neighboring departments from backing them up. Doesn't that put their own citizens in jeopardy? It, it sure does. And I tell you what, I've been very critical in the past of, of places whenever I've heard that go on. There's a couple of them going on right now in the Commonwealth. I'm sure every one of you here. Look at what's happening. Where are they at tonight? In Fawn Township, a simmering feud between fire departments erupted at a township supervisor's meeting. We call for an engine. You bring a brush trap. Never. Never. Oh, never. Never. This guy here is. Crap. Emotions were high when the supervisors met to vote on an ordinance requiring the two local fire departments to work together. We've asked both fire departments to work that out. Both fire departments cannot work that out. The dispute centers on Fawn Station 2 Chief Al Ewing's practice of responding to fires in his personal car, then calling in a truck if it's serious. It's better than a lot of fire trucks running up and down the road, in our opinion. But officials at Fawn Station 1 say Fawn 2 sometimes fails to provide adequate response. And there was a brush truck there from Fawn number 2, not an engine. Why is that a problem then? Because they were called for an engine. Fawn 2 firefighters angrily deny compromising public safety. I've never seen you with a fire, and I've never seen you with a fire department. You're full of it. Also at the meeting, allegations that the departments were removing each other from their run cards, the official document that 911 uses when they dispatch trucks to a fire. You said you were going to take them off your run card. I too. never said that. The ordinance would require both departments to send fire trucks to a fire call, violators paying a fine of up to $1,000. That angered the crowd even more. It's just not fair that these firemen in jail should be punished for doing that. For doing us the favor, for protecting all the citizens. And questions about conflicts of interest, since two township supervisors are members of Fawn Station One. If you have saying you're a fire. You got a conflict of interest here. You and Gary both. No, I don't. Oh, yes, you no, do. The supervisors held off on passing an ordinance and told the chiefs to meet again to try to settle their differences. In East Pittsburgh, a political dispute is keeping this fire truck from leaving the firehouse. 
When this house in East Pittsburgh caught fire in January, trucks showed up from Braddock, North Braddock, and other communities. But East Pittsburgh's pumper truck never left the station. That's because the truck's inspection expired last September. The registration expired in January. Since the borough owns the truck, I asked the council president about it. The truck's been sitting in the garage over there since September without an inspection sticker. Why? Uh, that's a good question. I think we'd have to talk to the fire chief about that and see why he doesn't want to get it inspected. The chief says he wanted the truck to be inspected, but he could not get the borough to pay for it. It's their truck. They have a responsibility to the citizens of the community to make sure it works, not just sit here. The fire chief, who used to be on council, says a long standing political feud is the real reason the borough is not paying for the truck. That feud culminated in the council voting to eliminate the fire department and pay Braddock to fight fires in East Pittsburgh. Basically what we have here is politicians making a decision based on personalities, not based on the public safety of the community. They're hurting the people this time. And that's the last thing any firefighter wants to do. But when you mix politics and public safety, the results can be combustible. Still ahead, volunteer fire chiefs vent their frustrations and share ideas on how to improve fire response times. Guys are getting burned up. The one problem they say is keeping even the quickest responder from getting to a fire. 